to another learning live stream with me, Christian Schiller, second of this week, probably one of um, one of the only two. That's kind of already implied, isn't it? It's a problem with not using a script. The uh, one of the only two for this week. Let's just stick with that for now. Every week, I once or twice take a look at some kind of project I'm interested in looking at, probably with the intention of turning it into an edited video at some point. Just me kind of doing some research, messing around, seeing what I can figure out before I dive into creating something longer and more complex and more time consuming. Today, actually, I'm gonna be doing something slightly different and this is going to be for a blog post although I might turn it into a video as well I'm not sure there is this Mac app subscription service called setup there was a lot of rhyming words there um, that I've been using for some time I sort of mention it in passing here and there because some of the applications I'm quite a regular user of are part of it uh, and it's by uh, Macpaw out of uh, Kiev in, in Ukraine, and I've actually been to their office. They have an awesome Mac museum there. I'm guessing uh, a lot of it is probably in shelter at the moment, but um, when you can, I recommend going to take a look. Um, and they are hosting a writing competition on Medium over the coming month. And uh, I had a few ideas, and one of them was to take a look at the AI applications, mostly the generative AI applications. I already looked at some other similar applications in the wider Mac OS software sphere, software ecosphere ecosystem. And I wanted to have a specific look at the ones in Setup uh, in preparation for this blog post. If you like what you see here and you are joining live, then please jump into the chat and leave a comment of course, whether you're watching live or later. And equally, subscribe if you like what you found. If you want to find more about me more generally, you can look above at christianjella.com. All right, let's jump into screen share. Okay, this doesn't look like a great deal. <laughs> let's get setup open. Now, Interestingly, <laughs> they've also added their own, uh, oops, let's go pick them back. As everybody is, they've added their own sort of uh, assistant there. I don't really know how helpful that is, to be honest with you, but I'm not really going to look at that in any great detail, to be honest with you, um, because I'd rather look at the apps it offers rather than the, the kind of holding install application itself. They had a few that I noticed, but they actually have uh, in here somewhere. I did come across it quite by chance. Maybe it was, oh yes. And happy birthday to Macbo, 15 years. This um, little article here actually kind of summarized some of the ones I will look at. I'm gonna look specifically and definitely at these first three, a little bit at Craft, which is a much uh, widely known uh, application already, a little bit like kind of Mac native notion. And I'll have a quick look at Canary as well. But these are the three I'm most interested in actually. So if you've used any of those, then please do let me know. There we go. All right, so I'll actually start with Canary. I have it already open here. Um, I don't have any emails there that are particularly private, that's okay. <laughs> So this is mostly for just composing emails as you would expect. Although we also have this co-pilot here. What would you like to do today? I mean, this is not really AI so far, I don't think so. Um, I mean, okay. <laughs> so that's obviously looking at uh, emails that have been marked important, which we always know is an incredibly passive aggressive thing to do. But there we go. Let's see, pending replies maybe. Oh, yes. Uh, I don't know. Okay, that's absolutely nothing to do with email, strangely. But, um, I mean, I don't really know how useful this part is. It's not really the bit that I was interested in knowing about, to be honest with, to be honest with you. Oh, there we go. So we can see, that's kind of cool, actually, uh, what it considers newsletters. For some reason, it's presenting a list 
but I can't actually scroll through it. These are all beta features. Oh, here we go. There's a bit more here. So there we go. Anyway, what I was mostly interested in trying is this, this bit. So compose a new email. Click on magic icon. I'll type CCC, CCC. Okay. All right. Um, magic icon. Is that the magic icon? No. I don't see a magic icon. Is that it? AI, I guess. That's probably the magic icon. There we go. Um, I mean, this is something you see in a lot of the other applications. We'll probably see this a lot. They've basically pulled in this text processing. Most of these tools, I would imagine, are all going to be text-based, and we've seen quite a few of those in some of the applications I looked at on my previous video. Um, so, whew. I hope it doesn't actually <laughs> send the email, though. I'm going to try something maybe too clever. Um, I mean, I'm not 100% sure. Sometimes you wonder if the effort of typing the prompt, you could have just written the email anyway, but there we go. It looks a bit like Siri. So that just inserted, I'm just going to insert it. I, it didn't really, it wasn't really smart enough to tie those bits together. Maybe that will come later. Translate into different languages, lengthen, shorten, formal, casual. Let's lengthen it. I'm quite sure how much more you could add, but let's do it anyway. Okay, it must be getting very long. <laughs> Taking a while. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is this is sort of far too much of it anyway. <laughs> oh my god, it's still going. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh let's see what else we could do. Let's make it casual. It starts the same things like yo dog or something. Let's see. There's a lot of text to make casual here as well. And this is funny where casual becomes a little bit too colloquial, maybe. Yeah. Anyway. And insert app progress. Not quite sure what that means exactly. Oh, uh, hang on. You can discover dashboard. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, you get the idea. So-so, interesting, so-so. And if we wanted to, we could also do, I don't know what happens if you actually just want to type CCC, <laughs> like you're going to Chaos Communication Camp, but I'll worry about that a lot of time. All right, so that's that, that's fine. Okay, now go look at the other three and then come back to craft because craft is something much bigger and broader. AI writing assistant, new UI to chat with AI, work with text using AI. You can see those are going to be a little bit similar, I think. Um, let's start with Eliphas. I've no idea about the name. <laughs> Seems pretty uh, vague in general. Oops, hang on. The accessibility settings has opened up in a completely different window. All right, that should work now. Uh, I'm just checking my multiple screens. I'm probably then in the menu bar. Uh, no? <laughs> okay, that's... Oh, no, there it is. All right. So, yeah, this looks very similar to some of the others I looked at before. Honestly, I can't remember which ones. <laughs> Let's uh, go to preferences. Okay, here we go. So I need an open AI key. All right, this is always the thing. So you're gonna to have to bear with me whilst I do that. Um, I'll put it on screen because I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, cancel it as soon as we're done. So even if you if you do want to do something dodgy with it, you're not gonna be able to do it for very long, <laughs> it says. Uh, we'll see, hopefully. So let's get that preference back. Okay. 
so we can okay that just changed uh color mode for some strange reason three so we can't select four yet that's fine this seems to be the standard way with the api um yeah etc etc hotkeys there's a strange looking keyboard shortcut and troll and under thing oh i don't even know what that symbol is that's not an underscore what symbol is that <laughs> where do i find it on my keyboard i'm not sure anyway we'll figure that out in a minute brains create a new brain i think this might be prompts maybe uh i'm not really sure what that means i'm also finding this quite hard to read i might change it to light let's see if that's easier to read it's a little better yeah um chat with brain save brain is that like a personal data set so load a pdf for example i guess i select a pdf um <laughs> what do i consider to be my brain uh why don't i put a bunch of drumming <laughs> I don't think that's going to be very useful, is it? Um, I don't know. Not really sure what to expect here. There we go. Go wild. <laughs> Have fun. Okay. Mm. I mean, I could load Obsidian, I suppose. Uh, although now I'm just going to be duplicating. This could take a while. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Not the best system message, but okay. All right, fine. Uh, I could add a URL. Let's add my website. Um, that is my brain. I have a feeling there may be a, a point where it's got too much yeah i think it's i think it's too much content maybe all right fine well that's my brain and i suppose i could have a a work brain i guess it's personal uh data that's um supplementing the content Do you tell them i'm pretty sure that means okay tones we can have a new tone so i think this is when you in some of the others we looked at i looked at on a previous video like um in the style of like the prompt template sort of thing it could be a recent email or a linkedin reply writing examples let's call it for example Twitter. Okay. I don't know if this is using those prompts or not. Yeah, they kind of preset prompts. I'm not sure if that's using that or not. Let's see. Um, sure. <laughs> Promoting podcasts is something I tend to do. Let's do that. Oh, it wants more than one. Uh, I'm just going to. Oh, it has to be less. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to put both the same, which is probably not very optimal, but. Okay, too short. <laughs> what was wrong with the. Okay. Uh. Is that, that, that's okay, I think. We're in the rather particular word limit now. There we go, save a tone. Privacy, okay, support, okay. All right, so now what? Um, let's see. Rewrite, professional. But I guess I have to have something selected. Oh no, hang on, what? 15, what does that mean? Oh, there we go. It rewrote what was in the clipboard. Um, okay, cool. All right, fine. And we've got a diff view. That's actually kind of nice, I suppose. Okay. Um, 
So we could rewrite friendly. I think I guess that means it's thinking. Twenty. I don't know what that means. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um. Viral mode. I mean, that's probably what it was in the first place. Uh, Eighteen. What do these numbers mean? Changes? I don't know. Yeah. I actually got the hashtags in though, which is kind of cool. That's actually something I could do more of. Um, okay. Continue writing. So it's always just clipboard, I suppose. And the icon just made a very weird jump off the menu bar there. Is it doing something? Uh, I think. I don't know. It's a little unclear what it's doing. Don't know what that meant. Maybe we need to have some text. Okay. Uh, Ah, here we go. And now it pops up. So it's everything I think. I mean, that's basically the same, but. I don't know how that elephant popped up earlier. It just sort of popped up without me triggering anything. And now I want it to pop up and it's not, but. Okay, uh, <laughs> it could be that I need to select it. Maybe I need to copy it, but let's see. It's thinking a bit longer. That's what that means. Yes. Okay, fine. That's not quite where I was going, but <laughs> that's okay. Let's take that and fix some grammar. I don't know if there's actually anything wrong with the grammar, but let's fix it anyway. It's thinking, it's thinking. Okay, it did some things for, we can see the diff. It just added some commas basically by the looks of it, but that's okay. I mean, I guess I assume it thinks it's writing has perfect grammar. Uh, smart write, don't know what that means. Um, let's actually maybe there we go. I don't know. It pops up occasionally. Smart right. I'm not really sure what smart right is, but it's thinking. <laughs> not entirely sure what that was. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what happens if we smart write the smart write. Not a lot, seemingly. Hmm. Okay. All right. What else we got? Snippets, add or manage. Okay. So this is more the presets of the rewriting a particular style that we've seen in other tools, similar tools. Presets, and here's the preset. Oh, oh, joy, here we go. Let's turn this into a Facebook ad. Ah, no, it's sorry, there's someone shouting in the background. I do apologize. I have a new microphone that I know I need to tweak. I noticed when I was drinking there, it looked like you. I have kind of like a, a smart <laughs> AI based uh, noise reducer on, but I think it's still, it still needs some training. So, this is just a template. That's not actually, I don't think that's anything to do with AI. It's just um, just some text. Ah, no, I see. So, um, so this is kind of the prompt thing. There's a little bit of a. So now I guess we can say. Uh, I don't know. That maybe? Maybe it's smart, right? Maybe not. Uh, 
like maybe we can now do this. I don't know what these dots mean. Oh, okay. what? so I don't really understand what the difference between those are. I didn't really do anything, did it? Unless... No, it's just the same. I'm not really sure what that did, but let's pop it there. Okay, I thought I just did that. Sure. Hmm. This is still just the outline, really. I don't know. Okay, and what else we got? Uh, maybe I'll do some learn more. Whoa, hello. That just did some weird things with my browser. Um, here we go. This is what we actually were looking for. I need to get back. There we go. Um, sorry, someone is shouting really loudly in the background. <laughs> Translate your text description to, okay. So, um, I mean, that's kind of basic, but um, let's give it a go. Um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty basic, but that's fine. Um, explain code, read a book. I mean, do you just select the book, I suppose? I don't know, write a blog, that's the one I just did. Okay. Read a book. Huh, okay. Um... <laughs> Takeaways. I don't exactly know how to, what to expect from this. What's the key takeaways of The Shining by Stephen King? <laughs> All work and no play make Jack a dull boy? I don't know. He's having a think. Okay. All right. That's, I mean, that's not bad. <laughs> okay, that's not too bad, I suppose. All right, cool. I like that feature. I think that's the one I like the most. Create a presentation, translate. Okay, super chat. Uh, what happened there? Is that that? I don't know. Add new? I'm finding the interface to be slightly confusing. Yeah, okay. All right. So it's just another sort of interface to, to chat GPT. Super brain. Uh, that just took me to preferences. I'm not quite sure. Chat with brain. Okay. Lord knows what's going to yeah, This could be very interesting if this works. Okay. Um... Sorry. People are very loud behind me. Okay. Ah, okay. So <laughs> this is actually taking something out of my uh, the PDFs I uploaded because these were two songs from the drumming practice. So yeah, it's a bit odd. Um, maybe something more. Yeah. Okay. All right. So it is using my brain. It's hard to know exactly. That was musical notations. So it wasn't, it's not very fair um, example because it probably can't actually read most of it. But that's an interesting idea, actually. Um, I think that's probably good on that one. 14% onboarded. Oh, we've got a weird video. Okay. Let's uh, not worry too much about that. All right, so that's one. A little bit similar to some of the others. Some interesting ideas there. I kind of like that brain idea. 
that's actually a like a kind of quick easy way of making your own trained model and there's a lot of services that now do that so i might try that one a bit more okay typing mind i get the impression these are all going to be really similar <laughs> but let's give it a go known issues all right fine that's fine yeah this looks quite similar i think um I always like to look at settings first. This really look to me looks like it is an Electron app. It is an Electron app. Uh, yes, it's definitely an Electron app. Okay, it's a little bit of a shame. Okay. Uh... I can change. I guess that means I'd have to put a key in, maybe? I don't know. I'm not quite sure what the difference is there, but I've never really looked at the plugins, so that's interesting. Although, oh, I think these are, yeah, these are plugins for the, the application. I thought they might be the OpenAI plugins. That would be interesting. Oh, we need a Google API. Um, sure. Sure. And yeah, okay, I can't really be bothered doing that. So, unless, maybe it is, maybe it is leveraging those. I'm not sure. Read developer documentation. No, it's for the application. Yeah. Okay. All right, where were we? Okay. So again, we have this uploading document, which seems to be something I've not seen before. Let's upload a PDF. Let's let's be a bit fairer this time. I'm not going to upload a music file. Well, here we go. Latest uh, one of the latest issues of the Spectrum magazine. Assuming they produce their text in a good way, and I'll do that one. That's only going to let me do that. One. Well, let's see if it can handle it. Hmm. Seems reasonable. I'm pretty sure it's longer than that, but. Seems reasonable. I'll also upload uh, something I know will work. So this is, I saw another file here, this one. That's actually the contents of a short story collection. See, that also does not seem right, but we'll do it. So I'm not sure now what to expect. We can select characters. Sure. Sure. Um, sure. 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 And we have prompt library. Yeah, so this is very similar to that preset thing we've looked at before on other applications. Okay, cool. So, now uh, what do I ask? Um, I mean, I'm wondering what those PDFs, what, what it's doing with them. I uploaded them, great, but for what end? I don't know exactly. Uh, okay, and here's the styles we can do. All right. Um, so what's something in one of those PDFs I know? Um, Wow, okay. Um, <laughs> not really sure what happened there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's play. So if you upload a document, then you have to, I guess. So if we could just, how did I, I saw that reset button a second ago. Oh, where was it? Um, I guess we can just make a new one. So it's quite potential, potentially that the document is just related to that chat. Ah, okay. Okay, okay. There was actually a story in there called Space, but I'm um, fine. 
So I assume this time... Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, I'm wondering what else is in that document. So I don't think it also... It also didn't... Um, it didn't combine the documents. It just took it from the last document, I think, which, yeah, is not massively useful either. All right, fine. We get the idea. Okay. I mean, this is just, I don't know. This is just interacting with ChatGPT in a sort of usual kind of way, really. That doesn't look a little different, I suppose. Um, I mean, that already is a listicle, really. Cynical. <laughs> I mean, to be honest with you, these look similar, but it's hard to say exactly. It's also because I don't think I can go back to see what happened before. So, yeah. So this is the prompt. Oh, here we go. And now it's using the the time. That's not bad, actually. <laughs> but this is just uh, an interface to ChatGPT, really. There's nothing particularly wild here. Um, the plugin thing is kind of odd. The adding a document is kind of interesting, but it's a little bit unclear to me how that should work. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, cool. So the last one is plus. I think this is going to also be pretty similar. <laughs> well, let's see. So this is what a lot of them need this accessibility. I'll drag it over. Accessibil accessibility permissions to um, pull in text that you've selected in the various ways they're doing it. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Plus. Ooh. It was a bit jumpy there. Hopefully nothing crashed there. No. Okay. Uh, no. This symbol again. Oh, I must be a space bar. Jeez, Chris. My, oh, my. Okay. All right. I don't know if there's any other way to launch it. Oh, here we go. Show plus settings. I was like, is that? So that's the only settings by the looks of it. <laughs> so it's a little bit limiting then. Yeah, that's the only settings. Okay, so I don't think this is going to do a great deal. Uh, prompt library. Yeah, it's basically the same. So, let's do... Yeah. Um... Did that. Oh, come down over here. I'm uh, not really sure what happened there. <laughs> uh... Well, okay. <laughs> okay, I... Uh... Really not sure what's going on with the connection between those things, to be honest with you. Um, okay, let's close that and see what happens. No, oh, that, oh. Yeah, I've got two applications triggered by the same <laughs> shortcut. So <laughs> um, let's change that shortcut then. Um, Well, that one was too, but anyway, there we go. All right, let's try that. It's also quite jumpy. It takes a little minute to appear. So I don't really know what the point of me creating all those 
or not creating, but having access to the prompt library is then what's the point of it exactly? But just to copy and paste in, I guess. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I mean, so this is whatever. It's not massively, not massively in, uh, different from a lot of other things, really. Some of the other tools definitely add a lot more, uh, a lot more features around that just ability to chat, really. Okay, let's have a quick look at craft. I'm interested to see another one of these kind of utility applications, and then I think I'm good. So I've tried craft on numerous occasions. I sort of should like it because it's kind of notion, but more native. But I think I've ended up going to Obsidian ironically, uh, which is not native at all, just because of the, the community around it. Um, I keep checking in on, on craft every now and then because I want to like it more, <laughs> but uh, I never quite get there. Okay, so we apparently have an AI trigger here. Oops, I've already started with a typo. I don't exactly know how I trigger it. Yeah, here we go. Assistant. Um, okay, great. Uh, I just, there's all this kind of like, sometimes I just wish it would just jump to the end because you're never really sure when it's going to stop. <laughs> Fantastic. Yes. Good, good, good. <laughs> how long are you going to keep going? Ah, oh, here we go. Insert. Okay. All right. I don't like this though, so uh, no. Uh, open assistant. Um, generate the. Uh, I've selected everything. I think. Yeah. But that didn't add it to the title, which is interesting. Uh, yeah, the, the assistant doesn't seem to be particularly situationally aware. Um, it's mostly just looking at the whole document most of the time. Yeah. So this is the thing with a lot of these tools. They're all kind of do the same thing. <laughs> okay, I think this is a good opportunity to jump to a, a summary maybe. <laughs> So yeah, this is the thing with a lot of these tools. They're all useful, but they all kind of do the same thing. So you really have, well, really off center. <laughs> I seem to have wandered throughout the video. There we go. Um, they all seem to basically do the same thing, which means that when it comes to looking at them, you really have to weigh up why use one over another. Um, it really probably comes down to probably comes down to what you like the best, what feels the best, what feels most optimal to your um, workflow, what feels most optimal to um, the way you like to use tools. You know, do you like it like a hotkey? Do you like it like an in-context um, uh, application, in context of an application, that kind of thing. And I think this is the interesting thing because they're all basically using the same backend as it were. So you get into this kind of interesting place where you could have multiple tools all speaking kind of to the same source destination. And you don't really, you're not really, in, you don't really have multiple instances installed because it's just a service that's talking somewhere else. Um, but how many versions of the same thing do you want to have, which many of these are now. Most of these tools offering AI assistance are basically multiple instances of the same tool. Um, which always sort of bothers me slightly in some respects. I also like some of the others I looked at in my previous roundup because they let you download models. Uh, it depends on the service, of course. But, um, but yeah, anyway, I was just specifically there looking at what was available in Setup. I don't think those text-based ones are the best I've seen in that genre. Um, Typing Mind had some interesting ideas. LFS had some interesting ideas. Plus was sort of so-so. Some of the others like Mac GPT and, and ones like that, I think were, were much better implemented, to be honest with you. But there you go. And Canary and Craft have definitely have their uses, but need a little bit of tweaking as all of these do at the moment. Anyway, 
I just want to have a look at those. I will still put together a blog post um, where maybe I'll try them a bit more. If you enjoyed what you saw, always leave a, a comment or I, I guess what were your feelings? What have you tried? Um, I mean, this was specifically on applications in setup, but um, any others, what do you think of setup? I suppose if you use it yourself, what do you use? I will actually look at some other things for that in the forthcoming blog posts. And you can find more about me at kristenschiller.com. So that was my learning live streams for the week. I'll be back uh, next week with two new topics and I'll be putting out a new video probably tomorrow, an edited video. So look forward to that too. Thank you very much for joining me on the learning live stream. I don't always find things I like, but uh, just an excuse to do it sometimes. I have been Christian Schiller. This has been Learning Livestream. Thank you very much for joining me 